Hey guys, I just like got done with the Super Bowl and I ate really bad. The good news is on the treadmill burned 400 calories. I've been here for it. The sign says only 30 minutes, blew that out, did it for an hour. Burned 400 calories. I feel amazing. Dr. Uh, Pompa, <laughs> what did you want to talk to me about? Yeah, well, yeah, how many of us have heard that, right? Hey, I did all this exercise, so that justifies my dessert, or the way he said it, right? I've heard that, I'm sure you've heard that too, but is there truth to it, is the question. Yeah, yeah there is. Uh, well, look, I, I, I don't believe it, and I haven't believed it for years, but maybe this study will help you believe it. Maybe not, because we had a conversation with a guy in the gym. You're not gonna convince me. And he said, I don't believe it, right? Because it is so counterintuitive to the way we think. We believe, right? that if we do all this uh, workouts and all these things that we're gonna, at the end of the day, burn more calories. Would you say most people believe that? The guy in the gym most just Most people did. do, he did, right? He's like, I'm gonna have a hard time believing that. Yeah, that's what he said. Because yeah. we yeah. just did an amazing well, workout. Well, every one of these types of machines. It says right there, 400 almost calories. Almost yeah, they tell you how many calories you burn because in right. our minds, if we burn more calories, that either justifies, hey, I'm losing weight or I can eat more, one or the other. But again, Scientific American, I found something that really says what I've been saying for a long time, and I sure believe it. And their study was backed up by actually 98 different papers when they actually searched it. So this isn't actually new news, if you think about it that way. And you know what? I'm actually gonna start pulling those dang studies because I'm gonna get a lot of resistance on this, and I already have because I did a Facebook Live on it. So I'm gonna start pulling those studies because look, this isn't new evidence. I mean, this is really solid evidence. You know, and if you look at the title here, you know, workouts and weight loss, Learn the surprising evolutionary reason why exercise alone won't shed pounds. I mean, I've been saying that a long pay time. Pay attention. You know, right away you're thinking, there's no way so, that my calorie burn is the same if I do a workout or I not. It's so counterintuitive. It's so 180. It is. Absolutely is. But, All right, so well, if, you have, if you have problems with that and you can show us a study that shows that, Put it in the comments, whether this is in a Facebook I, or whether this it. is let's in YouTube. It. Let's get after this stuff yeah, because no we're truth seekers here. Well, one of the things is, and a, Health and a trainer that I love and respect said to me, well, Dr. Palma, I know when I do my high intensity workouts, I know I burn a thousand calories. Okay, but number one, how do you know that? Number two also is at the end of the day, what are you burning? Because here's the point that they make, okay? They went to Northern Tanzania, close to where actually we saw our uh, first hunting gathering tribe. Yeah, we did. We actually right spent, yeah, we actually spent time uh, in Africa and we actually got to see a hunting gathering type tribe that eats once a day. The women go foraging, mm -hmm. the men go out hunting. And by the way, it was unique because I said, where are the men? Remember, there was no men. And they were like, oh, you know, they basically get up at 4.30 in the morning and they go out hunting. This tribe as well, it's called the Hadza tribe from North Tanzania. And they run and walk miles and miles and miles. They literally tire out their prey. So what they thought, this is the great tribe to study. So they did the most accurate way of assessing basically how many calories you burn you know, in a 24 hour period. And what they found was shocking to most people. It's shocking to me. to me. I'm in the industry, yeah. right? Yeah. Health and wellness, this is what we do. We train doctors. We, we have a lot of fun sharing truth. We're health hunters. We're yeah. health seekers. No doubt. And when I heard that, I'm like, I didn't even believe it. So Here's Dr. Pompa's like, I just found this. I'm like, we got we we gotta gotta to do a video. Here. So it basically- Make this viral. The bottom line was, these guys are out running and running. I mean, all this activity in a day, they compared them to the average American, even the couch potato. And what they found was, basically burned the same amount of calories at the end of the day. I know that's hard to believe. It was hard for him to believe, mm -hmm. but it's true. So basically, they said in the article that they're not even sure exactly why it is, and they alluded to DNA coding. Men, we burn on average 2,500 calories, despite how much activity we do. Ladies, about 1,900, despite how much activity we do. Primates are genetically set for about half that. So if you have a gorilla in the zoo, they're burning the same amount of calories versus the gorilla in the wild. So again, I'm not understanding exactly the physiology of what's happening. Maybe it's efficiency, maybe it's DNA coding. You know, we don't know exactly. But when they looked at their study and they Could were shocked. Hormone optimization, just utilization. Uh, you know what, and, and I'm gonna make it, so they make the argument, okay, so weight loss really doesn't do much at all for weight loss. 
Well, they're right from a calorie in versus calorie out standpoint. However, I'm going to make an argument for exercise, and I, there's many benefits to exercise. We're not yeah. saying that there isn't benefits to exercise. We're just talking weight loss here. However, I, will, I call exercise the cherry on the top for weight loss because there's a hormonal component that they're not considering here, meaning that when you do exercise, especially high intensity exercise that, would, that uh, the trainer mentioned, what happens is, is you push up an anabolic effect. Growth hormone rises, testosterone rises, and you become more hormone sensitive. And look, you know I've said this for years. Weight loss is more about hormones than anything. Right. It is. The mm -hmm. reason why people can't lose weight today, it's a hormone problem. And by the way, this and is And that should be reassuring to everyone sharing yeah. and using, watching this video because it's like you're on the treadmill. You know, you're, you're, you're trying your best. You're hitting the pavement. Your joints are even more sore. Yeah. But there is hope. You know, there's real science that has really confirmed yeah. why our doctors, the clients that we work with, are getting these amazing results and getting so fit and getting their energy back well, and looking their sexy self. Toxicity is really the number one reason why the cell can't uh, hear hormones and really the reason why people aren't losing weight today, which we call weight loss resistance. And that's a whole other subject. Stay tuned because I do a lot on what I call real detox. Real detox has to be at the cell because that's where the hormone receptors are and it is involved in why people can't lose weight. All right, you know, I, the, the, uh, there was another gentleman in the gym said, Okay, look, I believe what you're saying. So right. one that didn't yeah. and one that said I we believe, sampled the audience. believe what you're saying because I'm proof. I exercise like nobody's business and I still can't lose this depending on it doesn't matter mm -hmm. what I do. You know, so, so there, there is it is. Hey, look, and I'm gonna insult somebody here. I, I probably always do, but I'm Not gonna on do purpose. it softly, never yeah. on purpose. But it, think about the aerobics instructor, right? It's like in the, the one that teaches five classes a day. I've seen them. And you're going, you know, she's in here all the time. And yet you see the fat where it shouldn't be. And again, not, not disparaging anyone, but I mean, but it's true. I mean, we exercise alone is not the answer. Same thing as a marathon runner versus a sprinter. You yeah, know, the old absolutely. adage, right? You're yeah. emaciated and you're thin, but a sprinter who doesn't do the, it's hard on you, right? Yeah, it emaciates no you. You burn muscle versus versus fat because of the hormones. Yeah, it's uh, all hormonal. Th there's no doubt. It's all hormonal. And, and exercise again. I, I think the benefit that they missed in the article is the fact that it is a hormonal problem. So these uh, these results help us explain two puzzles that might seem uh, basically opposite at first, but are in fact related. First, why exercise generally fails to aid in weight loss, and second, how some uh, of humanity's unique traits arose. So really great article, you know, absolutely read it. And listen, I'm going to, in another video coming up, I'm gonna examine calories in versus calories out with diet because look, I believe there's a lot of 180 degree truth there too. And something that I love to talk about is the 180 degree solution. When it comes to health especially, always go 180 degrees opposite of what you hear you know, out there, you know, from, especially from the news channels and the, yeah, they're out the, 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 the they're magazines. More, they're more out to sell, yeah, you know, than and they somehow the truth lies 100 And that's okay, opposite. that's what they do. So, so I get excited when I pick up. Thank God for YouTube. No, no doubt. I get excited when I pick up a media source like this that says the right way in something I've been saying. It's awesome. But look at the studies. We're going to pull those darn studies, man. There's 98 of them, supposedly. I want to see more, man. Putting a research team on it. That's it. And then come back here every day because we're shooting a video a day here on our YouTube channel. Like and share. Yeah, like and share. And uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel because that's going to show you those videos that come through. And we're bringing truth. We're health hunters, and we're yeah. going to bring. We're going to hunt down the truths and give it to you and to I, eat. And I'll tell you, catch. Uh, I do uh, YouTube lives uh, every. Our Facebook lives every day. Uh, this is YouTube live. Uh, Facebook lives every day. Uh, you can tell them how to access that. Yeah, go to um, go to Facebook, and then it's Doctor D O C T O R Daniel Pompa Facebook backslash Doctor spelled out Daniel P O M P A dot com, and that's oh the fan God. page. Like that's that. That's so hard. We gotta but make that easy. They can just type it in, yeah, Doctor yeah, yeah. Daniel oh, Pompa. If you come close, Facebook. it's there. But yeah. like and share this video. We'll see you. See you on the next one. See you there.